What's up guys, it's your girl Nosh. This reading is for Taurus and we're gonna find out who is doing dark magic on you, Taurus. -na 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 <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's get into it. Alright, spirit guys, please protect me as I do this reading. Please return all evil eyes. Any negative energy, please send it back to where it's coming from. Anyone who is watching this video or sending negative energy to me through this video may it be returned to you. So, moment of being, thank you, Source, and thank you, God, for protecting me. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. First, Taurus, let's ask, because um, I did this for Capricorn, I'm going to do it for you, too. Taurus, are you doing dark magic on anyone? Major Arcana, yes, all the cards, no. Major Arcana, yes, all of the cards, no. Major Arcana, yes, all other cards, no. Is Taurus doing dark magic on other people? Is any Taurus out there doing dark magic on other people? Major Arcana, yes, all other cards, no. Okay. No, Taurus, you're not doing any dark magic on anyone. I did the same thing for Capricorn, so don't feel offended if I'm asking that because you may be a Taurus that's not doing dark magic, that's listening to this video. And you don't do dark magic because, you know, you listen to me and I teach you. There's no reason to do dark, dark magic on anyone. It's better to let the ancestors handle it. But, um, yeah, so don't feel offended. Don't feel left out. Don't feel like an outcast. But I asked, um, this is the whole process of this video where we are going to be asking if you're doing dark magic on someone or if someone is doing dark magic on you. So you are not doing any dark magic on anyone at the moment while you're reading this while you're reading this while you're watching this video um yes at the moment you're not doing anything Taurus so yeah don't feel offended guys if you're not doing any dark magic then you're not doing it you know what I mean so I don't want to see no comments at the bottom I don't do that well you know what good for you we didn't need to know okay all right is anyone doing dark magic on Taurus is anyone doing dark magic on Taurus major arcana yes all of the cards now Okay, Taurus, no. No? Yes? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, someone is. Someone is. Someone that is a spiritual practitioner. The Hierophant came out. Someone who's watching you, studying you, and this person is a spiritual practitioner. The funny thing is, to me, the Hierophant always comes out to be Taurus energy. Um, let me just check that real quick. Let's see, the Hierophant, the Hierophant, which zodiac is the Hierophant? Taurus energy, yes, yeah, so Taurus, when I asked if you're doing any dark magic, like the Taurus is listening to this, it said no, but there is a Taurus or a person who has Taurus in their chart doing it on you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why is this person doing dark magic on Taurus? Because of a Sagittarius? Because they want you to let go of a Sagittarius or they want you to be impatient. They want you to be chaotic. If it's not because of a Sagittarius, and when I say because of a Sagittarius, what I mean is you could be dating a Sagittarius, you could be in cahoots with a Sagittarius, you could be friends with a Sagittarius, and whoever this other Taurus is that's doing magic on you doesn't want you to be with that person or talk to that person. Um, also, this person, and if that's not the case, if it's there's no Sagittarius involved or anything like that, um, this person wants you to ruin your temperance. Your temperance is your your mood, um, you know, your your emotions, your you know how balanced you are. So if you've been feeling a little chaotic, a little over the edge, um, confused, I would say that's definitely someone doing some work on you, and I would cleanse myself if I were you. What other reason? Why Why else are they doing this? Why else are they doing this? What is the other reason for this? Any other reason why they're doing this? Because something has ended between you and this person and they want to restart it again. Okay, because I got the Ten of Swords upside down. Ten of Swords upside down is basically talking about being resurrected, in a sense. Because the Ten of Swords is all about just being done. You know, a hardship, just, just kind of like 
fucking hardship was so bad it knocked you the fuck out. But Ten of Swords upside down, it's talking about you becoming alive again. You, you know, starting over again. And I think this person is trying to stop you from starting over. Starting over where? Clarify Ten of Swords, please. A new journey. You're supposed to have a new journey that's coming in for you. Um, possibly with an ap uh, April. <laughs> possibly in April. That could be a possibility. Um, and they don't want you to have this journey. They don't want you to have... Wow, uh, I just keep hearing my spirit say they don't want them to have it. They're trying to block them. They're trying to block you from a new journey. This journey could involve an Aries. And this journey could involve um, a Libra. Libra, maybe you could say. Let me let me double double check on that. Judgment. What zodiac sign would judgment be? Libra. I was right. So Libra. I just have to, you know, double check myself sometimes, guys. There's nothing wrong with double checking. Always double check and stay in your lane. So Taurus, yeah, I'm sorry to tell you this, but no, you're not doing any dark magic on anyone, but someone is. Um, who is this person that's doing dark magic on Taurus? Who is this person? Characteristics, appearances. Who is this person? Who is this person that's doing dark magic on Taurus? Mm, let's see. Someone that you disconnected with, an air sign, air and water sign. So this, this person... Okay, for some, remember how I said this person could be a Taurus? Yes. If you get a personal reading, we can pinpoint who this person is. But if you just get a general, you know, this is just general. You know, it could, it, since a lot of people are going to be uh, listening to this and watching this, it's going to, it it reaches everyone. That's why I said if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Um, if you are not, you know, relating to this or none of the signs I spoke about are relating to you, then, you know, then... then it's not for you. Then no one's doing dark magic on you. I don't want you to go into a psychosis thinking that people are doing dark magic on you, Taurus, if none of this fits with you, okay? So this person could be an air sign or a water sign. This person is someone who you were connected to, um, but now you don't speak to this person anymore. You're cold to them. You're, you're, you're kind of like you cut them out of your life. And I think you might be dating someone else. That could be a Sagittarius or a fire sign. And this person is getting pissed off, I believe. Like, why? Why did they choose them? You know, what was so special about them? That's what I'm getting towards. Like, why won't this person choose me? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're dealing with you're you're honestly towards you're worried about your money, you're worried about your skincare, your health, you know, blah blah blah. You know, your everyday routine. You're you you are worried about you. And this person doesn't like that. Okay, they feel defeated. Can you tell me something more about this person that's doing dark magic on Taurus? Can you tell me more? Person could have light hair, Taurus. Could also have reddish brown hair. Could be like a a slight bit of a darker skin than you. If you're a light Taurus, they're a little darker than you. And if you're like brown complexioned or caramel complexioned, mocha complexion, I'm mocha myself. Um, this person could be a little bit darker than you, like a like a, a tone darker than you. Like if you're if you're yellow boned, this person is kind of like red boned. You know what I mean? Like if we're looking at cool tones in a sense like that. Like I'm a I'm a red boned. Yeah, my my skin tone is more red. Um. So yeah, so this person is a tone darker than you. A tone darker. Is the magic working that this person is doing on Taurus? Make sure I can get sold the cards now. No, it's not working. No. If anything, you're probably not even feeling it. You're, you probably weren't even aware of it. How can Taurus protect themselves? Just be happy. Be happy. Celebrate. Do your thing. Go out with family. Be surrounded by family. Is Taurus protected? Taurus, you're protected if you get out of your head. Meaning, 
don't pay attention to this. Know that, you know, whatever higher power you believe in is protecting you because you are protected. You're definitely protected. There is a female, um, a feminine energy that is protecting you, okay? There's a feminine energy that's protecting you. Um, maybe like a, a mother type of, uh, of um, you know, type of feminine energy, like a mom. Definitely a nurturer, a nurturing energy. Could be a grandma, could be a mom, could be an aunt for some of you people. Um, but it's definitely saying get out of your head. Basically, the, what they're saying is when this confusion happens, like when you're confused about something, stop. Pray it away. Like, you know what, God, I don't know where this confusion is coming from. Please sort it out for me and give me the clear answer that I need. That's all you need to say, Taurus. And the, Because this person is fucking with your, your psyche, okay? They're probably making you doubt yourself, making you feel like you're self-conscious about something. But what they're saying is go out, get dressed up, be good. You know what? Not be good. <laughs> be good. Be good, Taurus. Um, you know, just make yourself happy. Don't get caught up in this rut where you start thinking like, who is this person? Who is that person? Because you got to remember something at the end of the day. I'm going to tell you this. Magic, in a sense, delays things. It doesn't stop anything. It just delays it. Okay? So if someone is trying to stop you from something, they're not going to stop you. There's going to be, it's just going to be a delay. Um, Sickness-wise, health-wise, you know, if, if you if you pay attention to your health and how you feel and you're getting your regular checkups, you'll you'll catch whatever is going on. Because there's some people who do dark magic and they throw sickness at you. As long as you are taking that's why that's why the spirit is saying take care of yourself. Watch yourself, you know, um, make sure you have good eating habits. Make sure you're not doing anything in, in, in over excess because sometimes what magicians do is, or some practitioners do is, um, they throw magic at you to become addicted to something. So if you're finding yourself, you know, overindulging in something, stop it. It's free will, guys. Free will. You don't have to do it. These people can wish whatever they want on you, but at the end of the day, it's for you to take it in. You know, so, but if you are able to discern you know, your behavior compared to, uh, your normal behavior compared to irregular behavior, you'll pick up on it. Like if you're a type of person who is very, very in tuned with yourself, you will know, you will know, you'll be like, wait a minute. I was just happy five minutes ago. And now I'm uh, angry all of a sudden. What is this? What is this mood change? If you're not on your period and you're not a woman, then you need to look at it this way. Like, what is this mood change? Oh, okay, it could be someone affecting my, my emotions. And that, that, that could be magic. That could be someone manifesting ill will towards you or manifesting you to be in a bad mood. But spirit is saying, don't worry. Be happy, right? Just flow. Just keep flowing. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever this person do is going, whatever this person do, whatever this person is doing is going to come up to the surface because you got a nine of swords. I think this person is going to reach out to you and either tell you they're doing this or somehow, some way you're going to hear from this person. Because at the end of the day, you're protected. And I think this person um, because I mean, you gotta understand some practitioners or some people who do magic on people, um, they like to call you or to look at you and check up on you to see if it's working or not. Okay. Yeah. You're, there's a change coming for you, Taurus. I feel like Taurus is hot to happen. This person doing magic on you is actually helping you. Okay. Because you, things are changing for you. There is a change in the air for you. Things are getting cleared out for you because this person is doing this. Okay. Sometimes what our enemies do is actually good for us. Like, yes, thank you for doing that. Thank you for delaying me because I was able to see an opportunity somewhere else. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing what you're doing because what you did made me realize who I am. Okay? Even your enemies, guys, be thankful to them. Be thankful to your haters because, you know, be, be, without them, Right? Without them doing the shenanigans that they do and the shit that they do, you wouldn't learn who you are. How, what's what's the best way to find out if you know how to fight? Spar with a friend. I don't know about you guys. Growing up, I grew up, um, you know, uh, in, in, a, in an atmosphere where uh, me and my cousins used to wrestle. Right? I, I, I was very, like, I wasn't very girly growing up. I, I was always, like, ripping and running around with the, with the, um, what the, you know, like, uh, how do you call it? I don't want to, see, because yeah, I used to say the word tomboy, but I don't think that's proper anymore. Um, and like, I mean, not that it's, 
I was a tomboy, all right? So my guy cousins, the, the guys in the neighborhood, you know, me being five, six years old, you know, that's who I used to hang out with because my little sister was very young at the time. She was probably like maybe a year old when I was five. She was a year. So she couldn't play yet. So until she was able to play with me, I was playing with my cousins. I was playing with the kids from next door. And that's what we would do. We would play cops and robbers. We would chase each other. Um, you know, like, I learned how to punch a guy because um, my neighbor's uh, son, taught me how to punch a guy he let me punch him and that's how you learn you know that's that's exactly how you learn by sparring so what spirit is saying is embrace yourself take the hit but come back even stronger meaning whatever is happening let it happen trust the ancestors trust spirit that you can get over this. And, and I'm telling you at the end of the day. Magic ain't something that's forever man. It don't last. It don't last. Because these people have to continuously do it. You know what I mean? My, magic has a cycle. To, uh, a time period. It also has an expiration date. You gotta you gotta keep doing it. How long has this person doing magic on Taurus? About three years. So go back three years. Think about who you were dealing with three years ago Taurus. This might be for a specific Taurus. But go back three years ago and, and, and remember who you were dealing with because that's the person. Is this person a family member? No. Is this person a friend? An old friend? Yes, this person is an old friend. Could be a Gemini too. Could have Gemini in their chart. Old friend. Old friend. Old friends. Got you. Like... Yo, you gotta love your friends. <laughs> you gotta love them friends that be doing magic on you. Gotta love them. Um, so yeah, it's it's someone from the past that you used to be friends with, possibly a Gemini. But this person, it could be like I said, this person is a practitioner. So think about a practitioner that you knew three years ago, or that you had dealings with three years ago. Yeah, that that's that's your person. All right, I love you guys. I'll check you out later.